Here are some problems about finding missing numbers in division problems. And, uh, you know, when we did the multiplication ones, what we found out is that we were always dividing to get the answer. The opposite's going to be true of the division ones. If we want to undo, you know, this divided by 8 to get um, the a by itself, we would multiply by 8. I, I mean, think about it this way. a divided by 8 times 8 just comes out to a, right? If you take anything and you divide it by 8 and then you multiply it by 8, it comes out to what you started with. So we can do that here. We can say times 8 and times 8. Both sides multiply by 8. a divided by 8 times 8 is just a, and 9 times 8 is 72. Now if you want to check to see that that's really the right answer, you can put it in for a. You can say instead of a divided by 8, you could say 72 divided by 8 is 9. And maybe just looking at this problem, you did it that way. You said, okay, what divided by 8 is 9, and you just knew it was 72? If you did, good for you. Let's look at another one. This one says 174 divided by e equals 2. So to solve for e, well, this one's a little bit funny because it's not e divided by something, it's something divided by e. So I'm going to um, rewrite this. 174 divided by e equals 2. Now, if we wanted to do this as an algebra problem, it gets pretty tricky. We have the e on the bottom of the fraction. So the first thing we would do is multiply both sides by e to get it up off the bottom. So we'd go e times that and times e over here. Well, on this one, the e's just cancel and you get 174. And on this one, you get 2e. And then finally, to get the e alone over here, you would divide by 2. And it would be 174 divided by 2. And that would be 87. The other way to think about this is what would you have to divide 174 by to get 2? And if you think about that, if you're going to divide something by something to get 2, you have to divide it by half of what it is. So half of 174 is 87. 174 divided by half of itself is going to be 2. This is a really tricky one, and it may take a while to wrap your head around it. Let's look at another one here. This is b divided by 4 equals 3. So what divided by 4 equals 3? You might know in your head, well, 12 divided by 4 equals 3, and that's easy enough. If we want to do this the algebra way, we would say b is being divided by 4. So let's multiply both sides by 4. These 4s would cancel, leaving b alone, and 3 times 4 is 12. Let's try one more like that. We've got m divided by 6 equals 8. So what divided by 6 equals 8? If you know your, your multiplication facts really well, you might come up with 48, because 6 times 8 is 48, so 48 divided by 6 is 8. If you want to do this the algebra way, you say, I've got m divided by 6, so I need to multiply it by 6 to make it that 6 disappear, but I have to do that to both sides. The 6 is cancel. I get m equals 8 times 6, or 48. So those are some missing number problems in division.